Stuck at home, going stir crazy? Need to work off some of that frustration, anxiety and worry? No problem. What follows are six workouts specially put together by me, purely for you. Have fun, folks. It's always best to start any workout with a proper warm-up. This gets your body ready for the exercise physiologically and psychologically helps you get into the zone. So let's start out with some kick-outs. Here you can see, just loosening out the ankles and the legs. Now we're going to bring the arms into it, little arm curls towards me. You can see I'm wearing socks here. That's because her indoors doesn't like me walking on this carpet with shoes, but the choice is yours. Now we get some step backs. Let's get those hamstrings and a bit of coordination going with the arms going forward. This always gets me taxed. Oh dear. Yeah, come on, Marky. You can do it. You can see I'm concentrating hard there. Now, as I said, the point of any warm up is to improve that blood flow and to get you psychologically in the zone. Here you can see I'm doing some half stars just to get that lateral movement working. Yes. Keep it going, boy. That's it. Not even started yet. What next? Kickbacks, stretching out the quads, using the arms to stretch out the chest as well, as you can see. It's a sign for you, so you can see me trying to get to kick my butt. Obviously haven't quite got that flexibility, need to work on that, point, in, point to note. Knee raises, knees to palms, again loosening out things like the hip flexors and improving general coordination. bit before we go into knee lifts in and out again stretching out hip flexors improving blood flow and improving just general balance now from outside to in that's it high as you can good now let's go on to arm circles nice big wide arm circles loosening out those shoulders and the back first forward, a few repetitions, five to ten, and then back. Just noting around any objects you might be hitting, including brand new televisions. We don't want to break those, and absolutely not. Shake out. Now into forward lunges. Take these easy to start with, especially as it's only a warm up. Don't necessarily need to go down as far as I am, just so that you're stretching out the, the quads and again the glutes and the hamstrings. Trying to maintain that coordination doing it, shake it all out, good, excellent, that's it boy, just a little bit of gentle, jogging on the spot, now where are we going, oh, full jumping jacks, now we get into the impact stuff, haven't done any high impact as yet, but again, if you're finding these difficult, you have problems with knees, etc, well, I suggest you go back to doing half stars, great. Spotty Dogs, why do we call it Spotty Dogs? Well, if any of you are old enough to remember those old TV series back in the 60s and 70s, might be reminiscent. I call it Dad Dancing too. And there we can see from the side what coordination I've got. And here we go, ready to rumble. Work, warm up over. So here we have the first workout, the sofa or chair one, with six exercises. Do five to 10 reps or perform for 30 seconds and then 30 second rest in between each exercises. And here we have press ups. Press-ups are a great way of exercising the upper body. And if you think about it, they're a moving plank, so you're getting a great core workout as well. Performed in this way off a sofa or a chair, they're also easier to do than ones that you perform on the floor. Next up, we have the half squat. Great for exercising the quads and the glutes. Just touch gently onto the, uh, onto the sofa or chair and you'll get the, the maximum benefit. Using my arms there, um, just for a bit of extra balance. Next, we're up to the dips. Dips, again, um, are a great way of exercising the, the upper body. Um, extensive use of the triceps, the shoulders and the chest and the back here. Um, just, you can see my legs are extended at this point, but if you want to make it slightly easier, you can bring your legs in, into the folded knee position, as you see right there. That's it, keep it going, you can do it. Next we come on to mountain climbers, a little bit of aerobic work for you. Just extend your legs backward and then run forward, back and forth, left and right, keeping up a, a nice pace to uh, improve that cardiovascular effort that you're putting in there. 
good effort, Mark. Keep it going, boy. That's it. Try not to slip with those socks. Next, we get onto the ab section with knee tucks. Just lean back slightly. Knees in and out, in and out. That's it. Concentrating on that core as you do and keeping a tight leg position as well. Good stuff. That's it. Again, five to ten reps of this, or for 30 seconds. Flutter kicks. Just imagine that you're fluttering little butterflies away as you kick out your, your legs in that fashion. That's it. Hey, even got a little bit of a, a look and a smile there from the man himself. Step ups. Now please make sure you get permission of the owner before you do this and make sure that your sofa can support your weight. Um, but again, an, an excellent cardiovascular exercise this and another good one for toning up the, the lower body, the quads and the glutes. Again, five to 10 reps, all for 30 seconds. Now, when we go into sofa jumps, again, make sure that your sofa can support this and that you have the permission of the person who owns the sofa. Land as gently as you can, like a cat, and you can stand up as well, um, just to uh, increase the benefit, just a little bit more. That's it. Keep your table tucked in there, Mark. A little bit untidy, especially with the, the viewers now watching you. On to workout number Two, the towel workout. We've got eight exercises there. Again, done for five to 10 reps or for 30 seconds with a rest of 30 seconds in between. So who needs real battle ropes when you've got towels in the house? When they're appropriately folded, as you can see me demonstrating here. Yes, I am domesticated. It's the appropriate uh, length and, and shape. Grab one towel in, in each hand and away we go. Starting off with little flaps up and down, swings up and down, increasing the size of them depending on what you're trying to do, um, making them faster, improving the effort. Again, perform these for 30 seconds. I suggest that's the best way of performing this exercise. It's a total body exercise. Now you can see me moving up and down into squat positions, flapping up and down, swinging and swinging. You get as much out of this you put into it and you can swing them from side to side to get the obliques into um, the, uh, the equation of the workout as well. Trying not to uh, flap any um, light fittings and or bits of furniture or ornaments as you do that. Um, you can have lots and lots of fun with this, swinging it around as you can see me doing here. Um, the world is your oyster with towel ropes. Again, who needs a TRX when you've got towels appropriately looped around the, uh, the door handles? Um, with this bit of kit, um, appropriately positioned as such and your feet wearing slippers so as to avoid slamming the family jewels into the door you can perform door rows great for uh, building up the, the lats the back and, uh, and keeping the core straight at the same time as straight as you can that's it mark nice form keep looking at what you're doing there doing very well even with the door swinging step back a little bit further and you can turn them into squats. Again, with the assistance of the towel, balance is uh, improved and you can go to a, a lower squat position. Try to use the towel as little as possible when you're doing this, but it, it adds that little bit of extra safety. If you want to make your squats a little bit more difficult, try going down on one leg, a pistol squat. Again, you'll need to use the towels with much more assistance this time to uh, allow you to perform this, I suspect. Next, we get onto jumping squats, developing a bit more powering, adding a little bit more effort required to do the squat. Um, again, if you've got impact problems with your knees, I would avoid this one. That's it, fantastic. Now, onto curls. Turn the towel or the grip round slightly and curl the um, yourself towards the door in that fashion, exercising the biceps as you do. Excellent. Now, who thought you could do a deadlift with a towel? Well, you can if you stand on it appropriately. Um, make sure that you get into the appropriate positions you can see me doing right now. We're gonna straighten my back in a moment. That's it, tuck your coccyx in and pull. Now, keep it in head neutral position. Hold for about five to 10 seconds and then you can release. Excellent. Next, if you are feeling particularly wrought about something, get a towel and wring it. Great for letting, getting rid of all that aggression and tension, but also for developing hands
hands grip and forearm strength. It's a, it's an isometric exercise, so hold it right at the end for again five to ten seconds, and then you can release and throw the towel. Next we have the overhead squat, brace for increasing mobility, flexibility and stability in that squat position. Not using any weight here, but it adds a, a, an extra dy dynamic to, to the squat when performed in this fashion. Can't get to the pool because of the isolation issues? No worries, grab yourself your beach towel, your minions, your despicable me, fold it up one, twice, and on your front, come on Marky, there we go, and away we go, pull yourself forward, or push yourself forward, in a strange kind of frog butterfly derivation stroke, and push yourself back, great for exercising the, the upper body, as you can see here, now we're trying some sort of doggy paddle, froggy paddle type effort, and utilising muscles in all sorts of ways you didn't realise you had. You'll be aching possibly tomorrow after this one, I can assure you. Now, get onto your back and let's use your legs. Push away, great for exercising the hamstrings and the glutes and the calves themselves. Once you've got to the end, then use your hands just to assist yourself in pulling yourself forward. That's it. Great way of cleaning the floor at the same time as well. Uh, make sure the towel you're using isn't a bathroom towel and it is an older one or a beach towel. You don't mind scuffing along the floor. And just to add some variety, get onto your knees on the towel and pull yourself forward. Again, um, great exercise for exercising the, the chest, shoulders, triceps, back and abs. Um, Double-handed, single-handed as you see me doing here. Just keep the variety going. Floor skaters, that turn your hard floor into an ice rink. Side to side as you can see me doing here. Great for uh, toning up the, uh, the glutes and the quads and you get to clean the floor at the same time. I get the kids involved in this one. They won't even realize they're doing your housework for you. And bring it forward with coordination, keeping that, uh, that motion going, and backwards. Even get to do your Michael Jackson moonwalking. There we go, dad dancing once again. And again, forward we come. Good effort, Mark. That's it, keep it going. And back we go. And again, side to side. Try not to bash your toes into uh, radiator piping at this point. Workout number three, the wall workout. Let's see what we can do with a wall. Nine exercises here um, to test all parts of your body. First up, we have wall sits. They may look um, deceptively easy, but believe me, after a moment or two, your legs and thighs will start to shake. Get yourself into a nice, comfortable position possibly with your eyes closed, and meditate away. That's it. Again, a great one for uh, exercising the, the lower body, the quads, the hamstrings, etc. To make it a little bit more difficult, you can start to raise your arms back and forward, trying to keep your back nice and straight along the wall itself, um, and your legs at a, a 90 degree angle to the wall. That's it. For this next exercise, the, the lunge, um, go into bare feet. Make sure those feet are clean, no dirty foot marks on the wall. Don't want her indoors having a go. Don't go past the knee or push the knee past the toes on this one and try and keep more upright than I'm doing at this moment. Um, there you go, that's a little bit better, Mark. Well done, sir. Excellent. Can't do full press-ups? No problem. Use a wall. Great way to progress your way down. Then after this, you can get down to the sofa and then finally down onto the floor itself. Make it more difficult by standing back, keeping that core tight and your body straight. Nice and slow. Time under tension. The slower you make it, the more difficult it becomes. Excellent work, Mark. Keep up that fine, fine work. For those of you that fancy a bit of a challenge, why not try the wall plank? 
adjust your arm position so that your body's at full length and then push your feet into the wall that's it let's get that as straight as possible um, your shoulders your hands should be directly underneath your shoulders uh, head down and then just keep that core tight no dropping that butt hold for as long as you can roughly 10 to 20 seconds want to make it a little bit more difficult start going off one leg side to side up and down again you know the uh, you're only limited by your imagination so come on guys why don't we up the ante even more let's turn this plank into press-ups push hard against the wall adjust position where you need to and up and down you may even want a pillow below you just in case you're going to crash into the floor <laughs> another great exercise for toning your uh, your rear end and your hamstrings are the wall glute raises the slower you do these the more benefit you'll you'll get push hard into the wall raise high and down slowly that's it using your arms outstretched for balance excellent And here's a great one for abs using the wall. Make sure your butt and legs are tight against the wall, then crunch up and try and touch your toes. I'm falling a little bit short here, but I'm still getting a really good flex on my abs. Obviously, abs are really built in the kitchen, but this is a great way of strengthening them all the same. For those of you that are feeling a little bit more adventurous, how about a little bit of wall walking? This will strengthen up your shoulders, triceps, chest and back. Start out just walking up the wall with your hands placed about three or four feet from it. And then when you get a little bit more confident, what you can do is start walking your hands back. I wouldn't attempt this if you can't hold a handstand against the wall. Um, otherwise you might find yourself face planting and we don't want any broken noses or bones. So take this one very carefully and easily. With practice, you'll be able to do this as easily as I can and, the, and there you go you can even hold a handstand at the at the end of it facing the wall do this for time to improve shoulder strength and flexibility in all sorts of areas that's great walk it out for safety there we go fantastic okay so a prerequisite for this is to be able to hold a handstand against the wall for at least a minute even though I think you might find it a little bit difficult but if you're gonna have a go be safe please hey this is my video so I thought I'd throw in uh, an exercise that uh, is a little bit more challenging than the rest but um, in time you can do it just keep practicing 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 so on to workout number four the stair workout six exercises here to test your cardiovascular endurance enjoy so first up on the stairs we have single step jogging it does what it says on the tin folks up and down those stairs one step at a time it's a great way of increasing that heart rate who needs hey eh? who needs a treadmill when you've got stairs in your house up and down up and down off we go and just to make things a little bit more difficult how about taking stairs two at a time this will increase the intensity with all these stair exercises, either do them for time or number of repetitions up and down the stairs. Then just to up the ante, how about taking the stairs three at a time? Personally, what I would suggest is that you mix all three of these stair climbing exercises up. Single, then double, then triple, then single, then double, then triple, and you'll get a really good workout. To make this a full body workout, how about getting down on all fours? Then we can include the upper body as well. Also practicing your ninja skills, climbing up quietly at night so as not to disturb anyone. Again, what I would suggest is mixing these up with the other three so that you get a total body workout and a lot of variety to boot. Performing calf races off a, uh, off a step is a really effective way of exercising, strengthening and building your calves. It really doesn't take many of these to feel the burn. And it's perfectly acceptable to use the handrail and wall to support yourself while you're doing it. If you were finding the previous stair exercises too easy, 
why not shove a rucksack on your back and fill it with some weights? There you go. There's me in training for uh, SAS Who Dares Wins next year. I actually did put an entry in, but they told me I was 13 years too old at 57. Ha! Huh, would you believe it? With all of these stair-based exercises, I just urge you to be cautious and exercise safety. We don't want any catastrophes, accidents, stair falls, etc. There we go, Marky. Down on all fours. That's it. Up we go. You can do it. Even backwards. Wow. Is there any end to this man's talents? So I want to work up number five, heavy object. Grab yourself a heavy rucksack. I'm using four two litre water bottles. The choice is yours. By utilizing a heavy object while you're performing the squat in this fashion, you are activating the core and giving your upper body a workout too. Just make sure your back is straight and you're not bending in an arch fashion when you perform the squat in this way. Now the abs twister, or Russian twist as it's sometimes called, is a great way of exercising the oblique muscles. Here you can see me just gently touching the bottles from side to side. Now, if you want to make it a little bit more difficult, you can lift your feet off the floor while twisting. Thrusters, a fantastic full body exercise, utilizing all the major muscles of the body. Just doing this exercise alone for reps and sets for 15 or 20 minutes would be a complete and full workout. And if goblet squats aren't tough enough for you, why not add a jump? That will really test your, uh, your ability to hold on to the weight, utilizing grip strength, upper body strength, and power developed through the quads, glutes, and hamstrings. Fantastic. This exercise is great for developing shoulder and back power. If you want to add a little bit more to it, add a little push press with the legs. This little exercise is a lot more difficult than it actually looks. It will definitely test your core strength and balance. It's excellent for developing unilateral hamstring strength. Adding weight to lunges, as you can see done here, adds a whole new dimension to this move. It tests not only your balance, but your coordination as well. As you can see, and if you thought weighted lunges were difficult, try holding the weight overhead as you perform them. This will certainly test not only your coordination, your balance, but also your strength. When performing these bent over rows, please ensure that your back is straight. Fantastic. And so on to our final workout, the floor workout. These are nine exercises anyone can do. I'm sure everyone's got a floor. Good luck guys. And here we are with the aptly named prisoner squat. The squat is often called the king of all exercises because of the amount of muscles it recruits and the exercise benefit it gives. When performing this exercise you can lean forward but just keep your back straight, your feet slightly, slightly wider than shoulder width apart, toes pointing outward. If I had to perform one bodyweight exercise only, this would be it. Here you can see me performing burpees with straight arms and legs just going out, no jump. What you can do to increase the difficulty is to add a jump in, as you can see me doing here, and then to make it even more difficult and to perform a full burpee, add a press up in between. This really will get your heart racing and after no more than five or 10, I suspect you will be out of breath. A great exercise on its own. Can't do full press-ups off the ground? No worries, do negatives. Start in the top position and just let your arms go down. Come back to your knees, reset and start again. The press-up is probably the best upper body, body weight exercise there is. Full press-ups, hands shoulder width apart, directly underneath your shoulders, Elbows tucked in as you go down, slowly and slowly up. If you 
want to target your triceps, bring your hands closer into a diamond formation directly below your shoulders and perform just as you did for the narrow press-ups. Slowly up and down. To target the outer chest, place your hands double shoulder width apart and again perform the press up in a controlled manner keeping your body as straight as possible as you do. Those of you looking for an extra challenge with press ups, try them one handed. Ensure your feet are much wider apart as you can see mine at the back and this makes the um, exercise a lot easier to do. Try clapping between press ups. If you can't clap, then just jump up. This adds power to the movement. It's a great, great exercise. The plank is a great core exercise. Here you can see me performing probably the easiest version on my elbows. Keep your body line as straight as possible and keep that core tight. Head down to avoid any neck issues. A slightly harder variation is going to support yourself with your arms straight out. Again, keep your body line as straight as you can. Head looking down, keeping that core tight once again. And then, just to get the best of both worlds, start moving it around, up and down onto elbows. Every now and again, swap the arm that you go down with, as you can see me doing here in the video. Glute raises. Unsurprisingly, targeting the glutes and also the hamstring and various back muscles. To make them more difficult, slow down the movement or even raise your feet onto a piece of furniture. Mountain climbers are a great total body exercise using the floor, exercising not only the legs as you cycle them back and forward, but your arms, back, chest and upper body completely as you support yourself during the exercise. Change it up, maybe halfway through, into squat thrust by bringing both feet together as you can see me doing here. Want to target those oblique muscles? Then try some knees to elbows. Cycle your elbows to your knees on either side, keeping your legs out straight and taut to gain maximum benefit. Crab walks, as you can see me performing here, are one of a series of um, basic animal moves that really target pretty much every uh, muscle in the body. Here, try and keep your, your bottom off the floor. As you can see, I'm just about managing here. The higher you lift it, the, the more difficult it becomes and the greater effects it will have on things like your abs, etc. But just make your way around, moving in all sorts of different um, directions and fashions, back and forward, side to side. And you'll soon find, after only a few seconds, uh, possibly 10 or 15, that you're going to be pretty tired. Take this one easy, folks, because it can be quite tough on the, uh, on the upper body if you're not used to this. Here we see the bear walk, another one of the animal moves that I mentioned previously. Great at taxing almost every muscle in your body. Like the crab walk, ensure that you're moving around in all sorts of different directions at all different sorts of speeds. Now, to make this more difficult, you can bend your arms and legs even more to get closer to the ground, or to make it easier, lengthen out your legs. You can even swap it around as you see me doing there, to move from the crab to the bear, just to add variety to the, uh, the exercise that you're doing at that present time. Once again, a great total body exercise.